What's up guys? This is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you three ways how to test these LED strips. These came from a defective LED TV. It had a black screen and so the picture was there. It was just really dark. You couldn't see it because the backlight circuit was bad. So we're going to test these LED strips and find out which LEDs are bad on these LED strips. Uh, this one came from I believe an LG TV and this one came from I believe a sharp TV or vice versa regardless it's the same technology they use LEDs on the strip to illuminate the picture on the TV so let's go ahead and get started so we're gonna use this backlight tester and test these and so there's a couple ways to test them or a few ways you could test it using the test points on the LED strip you unplug it from the circuit and then you put your black probe on the negative test point and your red positive probe on the positive test point. And we are not seeing any illumination. So what this tester does, it sends voltage through this LED strip and it illuminates all the LEDs. And the ones that don't illuminate are the bad ones. Um, so if the whole strip does not light up, doesn't mean all, they're all, all the LEDs are bad. So now from this point on, you have to test each individual LED. So there is test points on the outside. Put my black negative probe on the negative test point and my red on the positive. And so we can see that this one is working. Let's go ahead and turn off the lights so you get a better look. So as you can see, the whole LED strip is not lighting up. But if we test each individual LEDs, they are working. And so this is a voltmeter right here. This um, reads the voltage getting passed through the LED. And it will increase because it's creating a load and it's testing them, the LEDs. So right now, uh, 4.7 volts is being passed through, 4.9, 5 volts, and then right 5.3 volts. So that's why you see it getting brighter because the higher the voltage, the brighter it gets. So this one is definitely working. And here's another test point right here. This LED is bad. I already knew about that one. And then this one right here is good. And as you can see, as the voltage increases, it gets brighter. That's what we're looking for. If it doesn't get brighter, then that one's bad. So if this stays dim, then you know it's bad. So it's getting brighter, so this is actually good. All right, and this one looks like it is good too. It's getting brighter. Let's try out this one. This one is actually getting brighter. This one looks different because I took off the diffuser lens, which is glued on. And sometimes you have to take off the lens to test the LED. So that's one way testing an LED strip is, you know, you know, testing the test points at the end of the LED strip and also individual, right? And there's another way of testing it. Now, as you see on this particular TV, I got some very light spots and dark spots on this black screen. The TV's on, just no picture, you know, running through it. So... This is what the screen just looks like, a blank screen. But it shouldn't have you know, dark spots and light spots like you see. This is the LED strips that are defective causing that. So you can replace all these LED strips. It's gonna cost you over $100 for the kit. And that would work and fix your TV if your LED strips are bad. But if you wanna save yourself over $100, you can get the LEDs individually and just replace them on the LED strip and that will save you some money, but it's a lot harder to fix that way. Shopjimmy.com, they do sell these LED strips, I believe, and it's gonna cost you, I believe, over $100 for the kit. If you wanna save yourself even more money, you could buy these LEDs separately and it's gonna take you a lot longer to fix the TV, but you're gonna save yourself $100 or more and we're gonna use a standard multimeter, put it in diode mode. As you can see right here, it's in diode mode. 
and I'm going to show you these LEDs right here at a circuit using my digital microscope. So I'm going to put my positive red probe on the left and my negative on the right. And it doesn't read that way. If I reverse the probes, now my black lead is on the left and my red positive probe is on the right. It should illuminate. Yeah, and it does, as you can see. So it lights up. So let's go ahead and remove that so you can get a better idea. See? So that's another way to check these LEDs, just using a standard multimeter in diode mode. But once again, you can't check it in circuit because it's not going to illuminate and it doesn't give you any particular reading. It has to have at least, I think, three to four or five volts to pass through for that to light up. Hopefully you found this video informative. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks guys for watching.